Hey guys, it's Gigi. My foundation routine is one of the most requested videos that you guys ask me to do, so here you go. I've tried so many different foundations in my life and this is the routine that works best for me for creating a flawless face and perfect canvas for any makeup look. And if you'd like to see the completed look of what I'm wearing right now, stay tuned for part two where I go over the eyes, lips, cheeks, and brows. But without further ado, just like every other makeup look, you gotta start it from the bottom, so let's rewind back to 8 a.m. this morning. So before anyone pounces on me for not taking all of my eye makeup off, I think that it's pretty obvious that I have a little bit of eyeliner still on. It's hard to get it all off at night. I mean, anybody can say that, but I do wash my face every single night. It's very important. Of course, I have moisturized my face with my Aveeno Positively Radiant. Loving that right now. And I've already mattified and primed my face with my MAC Matte Primer. And before I get into any foundation today, I'm going to do my concealer. This is Benefits Boing. And I just apply that with my fingers. I'm a firm believer in warming up the product before you put it on your skin or while it's on your skin, just to make sure that it seamlessly blends and just make sure that it covers it as well as possible. You don't want that cakey. You want it to be nicely smooth and kind of mimic the texture of skin almost. So, you know, other than that pimple on my forehead, I am pretty good today. So this is me with just concealer. Time to cover up my eye bags. This is my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in color NW20. Great for covering up dark circles. It counteracts the color amazingly. And this is just a concealer brush by Sigma that I love putting it on with, but I do blend with my fingers. So just put a generous amount under your eyes. I mean, I always find that when I blend it with my finger, I'll take away a lot of the product because it'll be sticking to my finger, obviously. Blend it with your ring finger. I have heard that this finger applies the least amount of pressure to the under eye area because it's very, very sensitive area. Area, um, but I've just always done it like that. Make sure to look up when you're blending because you don't want creases under your eyes. And that is how I apply my under eye concealer. No more dark circles. Woo! Now, in my opinion, the most important part in all of makeup artistry, foundation. This is Dior's Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation in shade 300 and the brush I'm using today is F50 by Sigma. Since this is a spray foundation, you need to shake the crap out of it before you spray it onto the brush like so. And I'm just gonna do half of my face at a time. You see, I kind of stipple it on my face. It does feel very, very, very wet when you put it on your face, so you're gonna seem shocked, but it dries very fast as well. So definitely try to work it in as fast as you can. Um, I kind of just put it everywhere. As you can see, I'm putting it on my ear, down my neck, just trying to really get it into my skin make it one with it and then just doing the other side do the exact same thing and personally I find that this foundation doesn't really dry matte or dewy it kind of is in the middle it's that natural nice skin texture while giving you that nice full coverage that I love and just making you look completely airbrushed and beautiful this is Sigma's large powder brush and every single day I use it to set my foundation with Max Studio Fix foundation powder and I'm obsessed with this color I have been for the past like four years it's in C4 it's just this nice creamy yellowish looking color I don't even know it's like Seriously, the perfect color for me I'm obsessed with it and since it is a foundation powder I don't really use that much as you can see I'm using the same technique half and half I'm blowing off the excess off the brush making sure that I'm touching every single place where I put the spray foundation the Dior down to make sure that my face stays matte all day because that is the look I'm going for the last step of makeup we're gonna do in this tutorial is bronzer and this is benefits hula bronzer which comes in this little cute box which I absolutely love and this is max 134 big powder brush I think it's 134 at least and I'm just gonna brush that under my cheekbones basically on the perimeter of my face you know being blonde and having fair skin I can look washed out very very easily as I'm sure you've seen earlier in this tutorial I thought that I would just include bronzer in this tutorial rather than part two because you know I don't want to look so scary the entire time but I'm just adding some warmth to my face as you can see it makes a huge difference applying it to the temples of my forehead and I'm taking the powder brush that I did my studio fix powder with and just brushing it over just to make sure that everything is blended and there's nice gradients no harsh lines and to finish everything off and lock in your face I am using Urban Decay's D Slick oil control makeup setting spray giving it a good shake before I use it making sure all the chemicals are like dispersed throughout it and then spraying it on your face it will feel very 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 wet and kind of shocking but just let it dry and then you will feel matte and fresh and as beautiful as ever. 
So I hope you enjoyed my foundation routine. This is how I achieve what you see in all of my videos. I've been wearing Dior Skins Air Flash for probably a year, I would say, and I've been loving it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned for part two of this makeup tutorial where I go over this everyday look with a little bit of an edge where I go over the eyes, the cheeks, the lips, and the brows um, just for my everyday look for back to school, for whatever. You guys ask me a lot what I wear um, in my videos, and this is kind of my go-to look when I don't really know what to do. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite foundation of the moment is, and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. Mwah.